Hello. I'd like to discuss the energetics of a chemical reaction and the concept of activation energy uh, using as an example the reaction of hydroxymethylene to form formaldehyde. This is hydroxymethylene on the left. The gray atom is carbon, the white atoms are hydrogen, and the red atom is oxygen. And in this molecule, uh, one of the hydrogens is attached to the oxygen. It's an unusual molecule, rather unstable molecule, and uh, it uh, reacts to form formaldehyde. And in formaldehyde, the hydrogen, which was originally attached to the oxygen, becomes attached to the carbon. Um, the transition state that it goes through is shown here. So the, 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 the hydrogen is moving from the oxygen toward the carbon. And uh, this bond will eventually break, and a new bond will form between the, the carbon and the hydrogen to form formaldehyde. Uh, this paper uh, project or uh, research was originally done in a paper published in Nature in 2008. Here's the reference. And Clayton Baum and I uh, made a little uh, chemistry experiment or project out of it, which was published in the Journal of Chemical Education in 2011. So we're going to look. Uh, using a semi-empirical molecular modeling method called PM3. We don't have to worry about the details of the calculation, but we want to look at how the energy changes as you go from hydroxymethylene on the left through the transition state to formaldehyde and how um, the energy of the reactants and products compare um, and the barrier that you have to go over, which is called the activation energy. So uh, in the next part of this video, you will see the results of the PM3 molecular modeling method using a software called Spartan. OK, here we have the results of the PM3 semi-empirical calculation using the Spartan software for the reaction of hydroxymethylene, shown here. And in hydroxymethylene, one hydrogen is attached to the oxygen, the other hydrogen to the carbon. And the reaction forms formaldehyde, shown here. And in formaldehyde, both hydrogens are bound to the carbon. Now, it looks as though there's a bond between carbon and oxygen here, but that's because the bond started there. It's just uh, uh, part of the... Uh, Spartan software, but this bond, this is not really a bond. You can see that's a large distance. There's a bond between carbon and two hydrogens. And uh, the potential energy curve nicely illustrates how the energy changes as you go from the reactant, hydroxymethylene, to the transition state, where the hydrogen is kind of intermediate between the carbon and the oxygen. And to the product, which is formaldehyde. And you can see, as you would expect, hydroxymethylene is a rather unstable molecule. Formaldehyde is much more stable. So the potential energy decreases as you go from hydroxymethylene to formaldehyde. And that change in energy, you could think of it as a change in potential energy, uh, is roughly equivalent to the heat of reaction. In this case, it's a negative change, minus 220 kilojoules per mole. And so heat is released as you go from the reactant, hydroxymethylene, to the product, formaldehyde. And the other concept that you have here, besides the enthalpy of reaction, you have the activation energy, which is the difference in energy between the reactant and the transition state. And that's the energy barrier that you have to surmount to get from the reactant to the product. Now, if you were to run this reaction backwards, the activation barrier would be higher all right, It'd be higher by about 220 kilojoules per mole, because you have a bigger barrier to go over. OK, so reactant, transition state, product. So this is a nice 
easily visualized potential energy diagram. And it's um, a theoretical calculation, but probably a good representation of what is actually going on in a chemical reaction. If you want more details about this, you can refer to the um, references that I gave you earlier. It's a nice example, easily visualized, and I hope you can use it in organic chemistry or general chemistry, both at the high school or college level. So I thank you for your attention, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hydroxymethylene, transition state, product. Thank you.